All right, I am going to show you how to edit a template found in Illustrator. So first, if you need to find a template, you can do new from template or just new, and then template is one of the options up here at the top. Um, I picked this first one right here, abstract pattern set. Whatever template you want, you're going to open it. And then all these templates are hard to manipulate. So if you find yourself wanting to adjust this and you feel like you can't, what's really going on here, if you look in the layers panel, is there are a lot of clipping masks on these. Um, so all of this is kind of connected together. I see pattern two here. So I'm going to start first by going into the properties panel and clicking expand shape. Um, then I'm going to go again, object, expand, just to make sure all of this is separated. Now I'll look in my layers panel. Now there's a little drop down and I can open this up. So the first thing I see is it's cut off, but it should say clip. So let's see if we can expand that. Okay, see it says clip group. Go out there. I asked you not to come in here. So it says clip group right here. It's clipping path. So you can go object, clipping mask, and then release. Okay, see, and then that released it to all of these different groups. So now all of these are individually grouped together. So we want to go back to the properties panel and click ungroup. And then we can see there's these little red lines you can see faintly, which basically made six equal boxes here. So I'm going to click and just delete some of these. They're duplicates, kind of unnecessary. So I can get back to what I'm really working with, which is this pattern. So go back to the layers panel, you'll see it's grouped, and then it still says clip groups. So I'm going to go object, clipping mask, release again. And then let's see pattern two, There's still a clipping mask, but that one should be okay. So let's do ungroup. And then we're going to do release mask. Okay, now we can see all of these individual pieces. It's released. It was kind of enclosed in that little item. Then I'm going to do ungroup again. I'm going to keep ungrouping until these are individually editable. There we go. Now you can manipulate that, resize it, do whatever you need to do with it. And that's how you would edit an individual template in Illustrator.